Hello and once again welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I would do another let's break it down video and walk through this uh, 1k uh, one kitchen living room and bedroom area uh, Japanese style apartment. Uh, as usual this video is not if you want to learn how to float things there are other guides for that I, instead my purpose is just to kind of show you what items that I use when I build and how you can use them um, so without further ado I thought we would start in the kitchen over here I built this small microwave uh, the whole idea behind this kitchen is that Japanese kitchens generally don't have a whole lot of uh, mm, parts to them. They usually do not have an oven. Instead, you'd have a Japanese toaster oven. Uh, so I went with a very simple route. I only made like a stove top and then a microwave or a um, toaster oven. So how I made this toaster oven is that I used one of these showcases like this. And then I added this little sandwich. It is framed in using white rectangular partitions. Let's see, or like this, and then they're pushed all the way in so that it frames it all around here. This is the case for the sides, all of this. And then the top of the black part here, I'm not gonna be able to grab that, but that is a um, Hingen bookshelf or something similar anything that has like a black flat bottom line will work just fine then over on this side this black part here is a uh, white rectangular partition just dyed black as well for the knobs i just added a rivera table chronometer as well as a oasis base over here i made these kitchen cabinets uh, you can slide them up into different sections using quite simple items, for example, wooden slats, white rectangular partitions. It's really up to your preference what you'd like to use. But I just put one down for the middle and then I made handles using the potion racks. I have shown this in the previous video before, I think, but I made the stuff top using the table mat. These are so convenient because you don't need to float them and they're just very easy to work with, I think. For the gas burners, I used the Temple Knight's piece. Then I added this little oriental supper. I like the bowls from it. If you eat it up, you can get the empty version of the bowls. This outlet over here is made from a storm strong box. And you can see if you push it into the wall, you only get the small outlet looking thing. On the top here, you have Hingen bookshelves. It's framed in using the white rectangular partitions. And then the vent is a chocobo counter. Also, I should have said before, but uh, when you put the or when you make a white microwave like this, it's a bit tricky because I wanted to use the flat front part of it, and the glass isn't really built like that. So I had to kind of cover it up. So you can see I put it in like this. And that's why I have this part here. And this is a uh, wooden staircase bookshelf, this part. Over here, I made a little sliding door. Uh, the idea behind this was just that in the Japanese apartments, maybe you don't have a whole lot of space. So some kind of storage is always good to have. So I just made it using the Riviera wall shelf. It uses the outer parts of it. So this is actually not turned this way, it's turned basically like this. Then the top part is a Hingen bookshelf, this part here. And then these two let me see, are the wooden staircase bookshelves. And then the point was just that it would slide over on top of each other to kind of close the door. Over here I made a TV area. The TV is just a your sand map that's been turned around and as you can see the bottom of it the stand is a dragoon piece the key to making this kind of tv is that you must place it uh, close to something that is not a partition because if you place it close to a partition for example if this wall was actually a partition then it would snap onto it 
So the solution to this could be to place something flat and nice that's for example a table or um, a shelf or something similar to that. I used the Merific Mark shelf just because I quite like the texture of it. Here we have a low bookshelf. I also placed this workbench here uh, because I really like the pot so you can only really see the pot and if you look properly you can also see a part of it sticking through here. Here for these hanging lights, I have used the Heavenly Ornament Array. But I'm not a huge fan of using the whole thing as is. Um, just because I think that the large moon, while it is cute, is not really ideal for every style of build. So instead it is turned um, like this and then put into the wall so you can see if I put it like that. Um, you only get like the outer bulb or the star below it. I have made a break it down of this air conditioner and it's on my Twitter. So if you want to see it, um, it's just a simple picture guide, but I will link it below in the description and you can have a look. For this window here, it's probably where I spent quite a lot of my slots because I really just wanted to imitate like a, a nice skyline that you would maybe see if you actually lived in a Japanese apartment. So the back of it, what's representing the sky, are white screens. These can be very tricky to float, but it is possible, you just have to give it a bit of a time, to be honest. And what's nice about these is that they are, unlike other partitions, they, um, if you put like wall items, they will not snap onto it. Then I have used some of the new cherry blossom beds, I have two of them. Here and here. These curtains over here, I also have a bit of a hard time grab, but there are the Crystarium uh, wardrobes. Then I have framed it in as usual using the white rectangular partitions on this side here and here, and in the middle you have a wooden slab. Then I wanted it to seem like one of the doors was closed and the other was open, so I added a um, showcase to kind of create a glass effect so that it would seem like it's a, a sliding door kind of. The buildings are made using a few different items. I think we have a glade cupboard in there, some white rectangular partitions, stuff like that. You can really play around with a few different things, but I like these because they're flat and I was working with really tight surface. To make the railings, I have used the new uh, log racks. Um, and I think that creates like a really nice scenery. Over here, I made this uh, bed. I wanted it to fit well with the kind of cutesy vibe that I was going for. So I wanted to, instead of just leaving this bed completely blank, I added this blankets, <laughs> if you can call it that. It's the Hingen table, I think it's called. You can buy it from the vendor. And it's no, you don't have to float it or anything. It's just, it, this is the correct height for it. Uh, I just dyed one in a blue and one in a pink and then I kind of overlapped them a little bit. Then uh, the rest of the bed is made using some white rectangular partitions and other things like that. So over here I built a small bathroom. Uh, I wanted this build to feel like you could actually really live in it. So aside from a toilet, I think it has everything that you'd need to actually live in it in real life. So I built this um, without the door originally, but then I felt like there's really lack of privacy if you don't have a door for your bathroom. <laughs> so I made this very simple, easy door using three wooden slats and they're just stacked together like this and floated from the floor below. But when you go in, you won't see the bathroom right away. It's only from this angle. In here, I uh, added a small uh, vanity mirror, or the classic dresser, to get the mirror. This wash basin is making the sink. Then some bottles. And the bathtub. The actual bath is the carbuncle bathtub. And then I have framed that in using white rectangular partitions. I used a few of the bathroom wall tiles as well on the floor. 
Here's a towel. As you can see, I did not use the whole stack. I only used the very top of it. And just some ceiling lights using the pendant wall light. This curtain is supposed to be hanging on this um, rod up here, which I made using white rectangle partition also. So I think that's about it. Thank you for checking in. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.